Hello. This is how a human being look during lockdown. Before lockdown, even that is too much. When you don't have compulsions, when you don't have to please others, the how you look, what do you look? You will look closely, you will look closely related to your ancestors from the past. Your ancestors always look closely. They were living as the land. They didn't see land as something for use and abuse and to destroy. Like the modern day man look is sharpened dressed shaved clean you look acceptable in the artificial and psychological society yet you're not natural you are not close to the nature you are seen as a dirty some sort of a out of the woods out from the jungle out from the village human being in an artificial unrealistic platform so when we are asked to stay indoors, mind our business, we are compulsive. We wanted to do things. We wanted to go to the barber. We wanted to break the rules. We wanted to do, we wanted to protest because we wanted a haircut and our nails done and our beards done and our hair done. No. When you've been asked to do something, be responsible, be conscious. When people ask you to do something to save somebody else's life, isn't it time that we become responsible and we do what is necessary, what is needed? If you really want your normal life to come back, if you're really concerned about your normal life, 14 days back in March of 2020, we'll be dancing, we'll be partying, we'll be drinking, we'll be with friends, family, shopping, doing all sorts of things, right? No, we wanted to teach a lesson. We wanted to be free. We wanted to look great in our freedom. Well, our freedom is compromising so many innocent lives for no given reason or purpose. Is there a reason? Is there, is there a purpose? Yes, when it comes to life, there's a significant purpose that every life is significant and important. Hence why it is here to experience that life to the fullest. For our reckless behavior, our compulsive behaviors, our unrealistic, unfair character in us has caused so many people to suffer, struggle, compromise their own life, putting their own life in front of others' life to save and to promote health and well-being. These are not too much to ask for from a human being. As an evolved human being, you are meant to just do what is needed for yourself, for the others, for your family, for the society, for the nation, 
and for the world. A logical structure that I took you through. But there should be a logic to how you should be. There should be a magical touch to your inner self of life that's throbbing, fragile and mortal. When you pay attention to these fundamental foundations and platforms of life, how it exists, how it stands, how it strengthens itself. If any one of these are unstable platforms, you as a human being existing on this planet will become a problem. For that not to become a problem for yourself and for the others around, there's one thing that you and I and everyone else can do, and that is just to be not dip into your psychological dramas and unconscious, selfish, narcissistic behaviors, but just be a human being with a conscious decision to act responsibly. Not asking too much, not stuttering with my words. I don't read from a scripture like a politician or a theologian or a priest. I don't refer to scriptures or texts. I refer to my inner life that's throbbing within me. And I'm sure everyone else's life is equally beating and throbbing and willing to thrive in a healthy and a conscious way. There are no winnings there are no losers. If you did or did not do, at the end of this brief time here on earth, we will all pass our ultimate test. 100% is guaranteed for all of us. But whilst we are here, our actions matter for the survival of all as a wholesome creature that you are in transaction with every from subatomic particle to everything in this existence you are inclusive our idea of exclusivity in our mind should disappear it should only become a matter in the bedroom or in the toilet. It should not be a concern or a hindrance to your existential purposes of life. Don't stutter. Don't dip into your memory. Don't dip into your acknowledging identities you're taken on. Look at me. I am seen in the society as the most destructive or constructive. It should not be a concern to you. As a human being, you can conduct yourself responsibly, regardless of the way you look. How you should conduct should be conscious, gentle, and acknowledging to every step of the way. Doesn't matter you look sharp, look presentable to the society or to the community or to the family or to the nation or to the planet or to the celebrity, a list. If you don't do anything that's beneficial to humanity, what should be is that your humanity is fully switched on. Are you willing to exercise your humanity or are you willing to lock yourself into your psychological drama and carry on doing your nonsense and causing tremendous pain, hardship, harm and destruction to this planet, to everything around you? The idea of life means that we are all capable of doing one thing and is to be conscious, 
responsible and be a human. Switch on, switch on and bring your humanity to the fullest attention.